I was abused from 8 to 16. My father abused me. My parents were like, 2009, 2010. That time I didn't know what was going on. I was brought to the court for uncontrolled abuse. Feel all the abuse. Feel lost. lost. Every time I come back to Jamaica, this is one of the first places I come to. As soon as I walk through the gate, the kids run to me. Uncle Ron, <laughs> Uncle Ron is here. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And that gives me a good feeling. And that's what I had when I was here. My first time in a children's home was in about 1971. My mother left Jamaica to go to the United States. But before she left, she placed her three sons in a tenement yard in Vineyard Town under a lady that she knew. I was just playing marble one day when I was about three years old, and I saw a government van pulled up. A lady came out of the van. I was just told to pack my stuff. Souped us off to Levy Place of Safety, which is a home at Alfred Tree. When the Jamaica National Children's Home was completed, they transferred some children here. My relationship started with Ron when he was around four years old. We had that affection together, and that is how we became so close. My time here was the best time of my life. I didn't know anywhere else. I learned everything here. I learned how to respect people, how to treat people the way you would like to be treated. I went to Mona Primary, Mona Secondary, which is now Mona High School. We went to church every Sunday. We were also taught when you wake up to clean the place because eventually we were told that when you leave this home, this is what you have to do. The home had a visit to the stadium. I got lost. So I wind up spending the nights at the police station. The police were very positive. I loved the way they dressed, the way they spoke to the people. So that got my mindset that I want to be a police officer one day. I left November 1980. My mother got married. 1977, she was able to eventually get us to the United States. What happened, I came home one day, they said, Ron, pack your stuff, we're going to America. And it's like, what? Put in the van, I'm looking out the window, crying. I started to miss this place right away. My transition from the home to the United States was very difficult. What helped was I heard someone said, Ruan, and I looked, it's my cousin that I knew from down here because the home would allow us on the weekends to go home to relatives to reintegrate. I attended John Jay College of Criminal Justice because I enjoyed law. I wanted to get involved in police. And right after I graduated, I went into New York City Police Department. I did study, became a sergeant in 2005. So being a boss in New York City Police Department is one of the hardest tasks that I've ever had. My scariest moment in NYPD was actually 9-11. Because I worked in Manhattan, I was able to respond to the terrorist attack in a few minutes. My partner and I, we actually ran from the lobby of the building when the other building came down. I lost a lot of my friends. My family status in the United States is great. I'm married. I have two girls. For me, being in the children's home, I knew I had a mother, because I spoke to her on the phone many a time, but I never knew I had a dad. Even though she brought him here, what hurt me over those years, he never came back. He was in Jamaica. How did that transfer for me and my girls? I never left them alone. I had to make sure that I was in their life. What I am today, I learned it here, especially from Ms. Darcy Blackman. She every day reminded us that we will become someone something in life. We have to keep striving and pushing. As a young boy, I did not understand. But as I grew older, I just keep hearing it over and over again. It's not a surprise to see Ron become successful because he always displayed that manner of being involved educationally. So I find it very easy to say I am grateful to see the success than what he has become. It gives me great joy to sit down with her, just to talk, just to listen. Now it's my turn to, to take care of her. From 1990 to today, I've been given back to the Jamaica National Children's Home. I've volunteered my time, schoolwork. I've donated clothes here, barrels of clothes. I've donated a computer. I've taken them on trips. Every three years, we have family day to bring back old members so we can talk to the kids let them know that when you leave the home there's a life out there but this is what you need to do to get ready for that life what you want to do when you leave here 
iShare, brought to you by the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, CPFSA.